This is how Project Cars 2 looks through the lens of the HP Reverb on my GDX 1080 Ti. Much more of this is coming up. Hi and welcome to MRTV. My name is Sebastian Ang. If this is your first time here, if you're just as excited about VR and AR as me, then subscribe now and click on the bell button so you don't miss anything. Yes, and here it finally is my new try on doing Project Cars 2 through the lens of the HP Reverb. And we're sitting in a Lambo now and let's have a look how great everything looks here in the HP Reverb. So I had to redo this whole video. I had recorded it before with my smartphone and it didn't turn out really great and you couldn't really tell just how great this looks like. So I pulled the original video and I redid it just now here with my DSLR. So that's why it's flickering. Whenever I did the video with my smartphone, it wouldn't flicker, but it had a hard time to focus. So now using my DSLR, I'm using fixed focus so now it should be fine at least much better than my first try and i just hope that you can see how amazing project cars 2 looks on the hp reverb this is just so good i've never seen this game look like this and we are very very close to photorealism and of course, this game is just great. As you could tell just now, when the light was shining on the windscreen, that you could see that it's a bit dirty. Oh, I love these little details. Like now, this is just so cool. And in the HP Reverb, now finally you can see each and every detail. All right, so have a look at this. We are at 76 frames per second. And I'm running this now on 159% super sampling to try to yeah to see every single pixel of the 2160 times 2160 pixels per eye and yeah it looks simply amazing unfortunately again you do see this kind of flicker and yeah i was not ready to to pay 150 dollars for this anti-flicker tool that you can buy to to get rid of this flicker but i'm sure once sweeviver has the HP reverb, he's going to show you some flicker-free through the lens footage. Of course, you can always donate $150 to me through the well-known channels like Patreon, and then I will definitely get this anti-flicker tool. I think for, for these kind of through the lens videos, that is actually quite useful. And yes, I can run this really well with my GDX 1080 Ti, on 159% super sampling. All right, now we change the car. I'm now in a mini and uh, yeah, have a look at this track. This is really beautiful. Anyways, yeah, I can run it without a problem. It looks incredible. I've never seen it so clear. I've never seen this game so beautiful. The track details are high, shadow is on and look at this. Yeah, you can see it here, 159% super sampling and you could see that it was like in the high 70s for the frames per second. Yeah, definitely you can get this higher as well if you go down with track details and so on and so forth. Of course, if you have a better graphics card like a 2080 Ti, this will help for sure. And yeah, you can, you can still get a better FPS value once you go down with the details and so on and so forth. But well, I must tell you that I can play really well with this 75 frames per second and I have a great time with this game with this extremely high resolution with this being extremely beautiful being able to see every single detail and that is truly truly amazing and I do hope that you get an idea of how great that looks in these through the lens videos here right now. So lots of people have asked me, Sebastian, now tell me, Pimax 5K Plus or HP Reverb for sims and sim racing and so on? And I have always answered, well, at the moment I find myself more in the HP Reverb, but that doesn't mean that I don't like the white FOV anymore of the Pimax headsets. No, actually, I love it. So. If you ask this, hey, what is more important? Is it wide FOV or is it resolution? 
really, I cannot give you the answer that is true for everyone. There might be people who love the white FOV more than the resolution, and there might be people who prefer this kind of high resolution over the white FOV because they will simply think, hey, you know what, if I wear a helmet, also my FOV in real life would be kind of limited. So yeah, it's fine, I prefer the high resolution. So really, it's, it's like asking me, hey, what tastes better, a burger or a pizza? It's just too different. And well, at the moment, I find myself more in the HP Reverb. It might be this novelty of seeing this incredible resolution. It could be like if I would have been looking at this resolution for like uh, one year, and then now suddenly I get the Pimax with the white FOV, probably I would only be in the Pimax and enjoy the white FOV. But now it happens that I've been looking at the white FOV for such a long time. So now I really enjoy this incredible clarity. Look at this. And in real time, it's even perfectly sharp. I didn't even get it perfectly sharp here. So it's just so nice to look at this incredibly sharp picture. And it's just good. And if you got a 2080 Ti, oh my goodness, this must be so nice. But even with my 1080 Ti, as you can tell, I can enjoy this. I have a great time. And for me, this is actually good enough. Probably you want even more, could be, but well, I must tell you, I really have such an amazing time in Project Cars 2 in the HP Reverb with my GDX 1080 Ti. But anyways, let's get back to that Pimax 5K Plus versus HP Reverb comparison. Of course, you can compare some things, like for example, the resolution. And I can tell you very clearly, there is no question it looks better, the picture looks better in the HP Reverb. It blows the Pimax headsets, the current ones, out of the water. It's just so clear and uh, yeah, it is, it is just a joy. But then of course, if you compare the FOV, then for sure the Pimax headsets are so much better. You can see so many more things in the virtual reality and it's much more lifelike, right? Because in real life, well, you do have a wide FOV and without a doubt, that is amazing. So we're still waiting for the headset to bring it all together, this kind of resolution and the wide FOV. And wow, I'm very, very looking forward to that kind of virtual reality future. And now playing all these sims, playing Project Cars 2, playing all these flight sims like X-Plane 11 and DCS, it really makes me want to play them more. It's just so amazing. And finally, I got a feeling why sim fans are so into these games. It's just so cool to play them. And you know what I really crave for? I crave for a great place where I can play all these games, like not in my living room and, uh, you know, my, my wife is not so happy about all this stuff lying around like a real room just for VR with a nice racing sim seat and a real wheel and all these kind of things. So for all you guys who have this stuff, simply be happy about it. <laughs> yeah, Even MRTV doesn't have this at the moment, but I am sure one fine day I'm going to have that too. Yeah, I just had a look at all these gauges and I just wanted to show you how good you can read all this and, well, how much fun it is actually during the game to look at these gauges because finally you can really read them. You can really read them just as if you were sitting in this car right now. And just look at this. And imagine this without the flicker, obviously, right? Because you are simply wearing this headset and everything is running at 90 hertz so there's no flicker at all and of course also you see everything in 3d so imagine what you see right now imagine this in 3d with the sound with everything it's just so good and well it's hard to capture this goodness in a through the lens video but i truly hope that with these videos or with this video that you can get an idea how Project Cars 2 is in the HP Reverb. And again, let me tell you how it is. It is amazing. It is fantastic. And it's the best way that I've played Project Cars 2 so far, period.
So now I want to know from you, what is more important for you? Is it the FOV or is it the resolution? Please do leave your comment in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward for your opinion. All right, that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV yet, do so now and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.